Alright, so ready to go. Why don't you intro this level? Okay. That was weird. Did you see that? The yeah. ship did that little thing? Were you recording that? Yeah. Yeah. That was fucking weird, man. <laughs> what, what, what do you think happened? I don't know. Because the ship... I thought that was just an animation. Of it going out the window? Yeah. And then I thought it was all just one animation. No, I think it's programmer controlled. That was weird. Anyway, was on a path. welcome back <laughs> to Ratchet and Clank Up, your Arsenal developer commentary. I am Tony Garcia. And I'm Mike Stout. And uh, we are seeing more and more bugs at the uh, <laughs> at the end of this one. Oh, we sure are. Uh, we went through and... a pretty good period there where we weren't seeing a lot of these bugs. And now, like, we caught the ninjas in the last one. And we're looking at that one. This one, the good thing about the ninjas and the good thing about this one is it's so easy to blame other people now. Even though the ninjas, I originally did the ninjas. It's plausible for me to be like, it wasn't that way when uh, I did it. Idle Minds must have introduced that bug, clearly. Even if it makes no sense. Oh, dude. Slim, Slim Cognito has a plasma coil. We gotta go get that before we do the, the last level. Do you? Is this the last level? This is... This is uh, the one where the bio-obliterator's in the sky, and then no, you gotta shoot it down? I thought there was another level. This isn't... I don't think this is the last level. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's something. Okay, well... Let's not look at the water. It's kind of retro. Look at that. It does look like, yeah, it's very Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> the uh, um, this is. I don't the remember level. this level at all. This isn't the because there was a the final level is the one with the tier guys puzzle. Yeah, so this isn't the lot. This is the level where I used to do all my upgrading. Oh, okay. Uh, because this is they're the second most powerful enemies in the game, and you can throw out the shield generator and just soak up. All of the sweet, sweet experience. Gotcha. And, and uh, the the hollow shield was is really good once you get it all the way up. And use Azo. I'm not going to stand there and upgrade it on camera, but maybe I'll do it afterwards. So now we're going to go buy the plasma coil. We're going to buy the plasma coil because the plasma coil is the best weapon. Is it? It's the best weapon. Period. All right. You say so. Do you remember the plasma coil? I do. It shoots out a ball that kills everything. I know. It's good, but you have to upgrade it before it gets really good. Well, we're in the level where I always do my upgrading. All right. So, you know, this will be worth the time, I promise you. Hopefully. That, that's the teleporter. There you go. Man, that no alpha is weird, too. No shadow volume. Clank didn't alpha, but Ratchet did. That's not good. Plasma coil. Oh, you're you can lucky because you bought the stupid sniper rifle last level for no reason. It wasn't no reason. It just wasn't a good reason. <laughs> See how painless that was? It was only two minutes that were boring the audience. All right, choose. two minutes. Let's see if we can catch more uh, weirdness on the ship. All right. Oh, you, it's completely off camera here. Yeah. But I, I remember setting up those uh, those ship paths where they were splines. Like you would set up the... and it would fly out. So it's clearly something you did, is what you're saying. You no, no, we didn't set up the splines. You guys set up the splines. You just said you remember setting up the I splines. I remember people setting up the splines. <laughs> I also remember accidentally deleting the splines sometimes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's, uh... That must have made Brian happy. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Brian is, of course, Brian Hastings, yes, who did a lot of the hero and ship programming uh, in Ratchet 1, and so kind of inherited continuing to do hero and ship programming all the way up through this game. Oh, yes. Forever and ever. World without end. So you're not even using the plasma coil. I will. I just don't have it on my quick select. Okay, now I remember this level, because I remember those little guys. And those guys do die super fast. I forget whose level this was. Uh, for some reason... No, I just can't remember. No, I can't remember either. I feel like it was... Uh, Maybe Carl? Because yeah. those guys were Carl's guys. Carl programmed those dudes. The the rocket launcher? The, yeah, the rocket launcher dudes. I like I like that uh, the thing where the... Things come out of the sky, and there's little reticles on the ground. That's a that's a cool attack. I use that all the time nowadays. All right, plasma coil. Put it on the quick select. Come on, man. Put it on the quick select. All right, I'll put. 
I'll go through and, and do menu roulette again. I mean, it, it, the alternative is, you know, going to the start menu every single time you want to put on the plasma coil. Replace the hyper shot. That doesn't need to be there. Well, unless we run into a dynamo challenge. We don't need the, we don't need the Tira guys for sure. All right. Oh, yeah, I have the box breaker. I don't need to break anything. I can just make tons of money this way. The breakables on this level are worth a ton of money. Whoa. Oh, you're getting uh, you're getting murderized here. That's okay. It's just more experience, man. More experience. Does the... Um... I know there was a system in place that if you die and come back, the enemies you already killed don't give you max experience, I think, right? Um, it was only if you finished their segment. Oh, okay. So if you finished the segment that the enemy was in, then they they wouldn't uh, give you full. But, um, but that No, was I thought there was a system that if they had ever previously died, they didn't give you full again. Huh. It's possible. I mean, Gavin did all that. It was a huge black box. Because I think... Because it's very easy to to break the system if you know where the checkpoints are. To just die before every checkpoint and then come back and do it again. From a from the design perspective, we never really had a problem with that. I mean, I know we discussed uh, sort of incentivizing di dr uh, jumping into water and stuff, but uh, I remember that not being a huge concern. But I might be wrong. I mean, I never am, but I might be. Oh, wow. Confidence. <laughs> when have I ever been wrong, Tony? Just, just name one time. I can't. You're right. Yeah. I can't do it. It hasn't happened, that's why. I'm really sad that that effect doesn't look like it used to. Because that, the, the green guy, the green beams that guy shoots, or the green effects that guy shoots out, they used to look really cool, but they lost their shape in the HD collection. That's which is unfortunate. It's just different. That's all, right? It's different, yeah. It's unfortunately different. Wait, is that critical path? Oh, it is. We hardly ever do that sort of thing. Is that a hit in the guy's thing? No, those are dudes. Dudes that you can murder. There's a platinum bolt over there. Alright. Giant waste. But yeah, I used to level up my, uh, my stuff on this one. And now here you are again, leveling up your stuff. Yep. So, one thing that uh, I remember when we were first talking at the HD collection, we were talking about how the alpha was different. Uh -huh. And we only realized after when we were rewatching the video that that hollow shield is a perfect example. Like, perfect example that we can show you how the alpha is different, how you can see the edges of the hollow shield. Uh, so you notice that there, uh, in the original one, the hollow shield was, it looked like a circle. Right, because we had some textures that were simply, the only purpose those textures had was to provide alpha, which was to make some parts of the texture invisible. And so we would take the edges of all those textures and make them invisible so it just looked like an oval. Correct. But the alpha is not working properly, and so we're not making those edges invisible properly anymore. And so that's why they look like squares. Which is also, you know, unfortunately different. Unfortunately different. Okay. I thought we gave you back all your ammo when you died. I guess not. Apparently not. Oh, yes! Oh, look at that frame rate. Whoever did the frame rate on this level was uh, not good. But, Tony, I always did the frame rate. Oh. Hmm. What are you trying to say? Huh. Isn't that isn't that weird? I didn't do. I mean, anything what? Are, wrong. So okay. Let's say you're doing frame rate. All right. And you, somebody comes to this area, and drops down the box breaker, breaks everything, shower bolts, and says, "Mike, fix it." What do you possibly say to that? Because you look at that and you're like, "It can't be fixed. Place less stuff." And it will fix. Like, what do you, what do you possibly say to that when somebody expects you to fix that without actually removing stuff? 
Well, we always could remove something. That was that was what the trick was. But uh, like most of the time, we never had that problem with you know the box breaker and uh, and all that. Um, but let's see. So my philosophy was if it's a you know if it's if it's a optional gadget that you're using that breaks the frame rate, who cares, right? And that's a good attitude. If it breaks the frame rate while you're getting a reward, that makes the reward feel better. Does it really? Yeah, it totally does. Someone in, in one of the comments uh, said that on a previous video, and I agree. But let's assume that all of that is not true, and that you uh, uh, let's assume frame drops are undesirable. Yes, in every case, let's just assume. And uh, uh, so what, we had a couple things to protect against that, and I I can't tell whether. Those things just weren't working in this case, or um, if uh, uh, if it's you know the, the the HD collection sort of introduced that. I have no idea. See again, I can shirk my bugs <laughs> just as easily as you can. Uh, but what we would do is two things. So we would try to get it uh, in frame, not counting Ratchet's weapon effects and enemy destruction effects and environment destruction. Right? So we would get it all in frame without that. And then there was uh, a whole bunch of padding that Roberto left in the camera. And it just basically was a for loop that just ran for a certain number of times every frame in order to, you know, reserve that memory right. or, or frame rate, right? right. And, uh, and we, were, we counted on it so that when, uh, when you know, we, we actually compiled it and put it on a disc, we would take out that extra piece and then it would be in frame all the time, right? right. So that was one of the things we did. Another thing we did was, uh, there's a system in there to make sure that it doesn't generate a shit ton of bolts like that and and break the game. So, you know, that that also might not be working in this case. But then if, if all of that, you know, isn't what we can do to fix it, then it's really just cutting stuff out of the scene. It's going through every art object that's in the scene and seeing how many polys it has and then looking at it in Maya and making sure that we can't make it any smaller than it already is. Like, it's just, there was a lot of, uh, uh, there was just a lot of things that could be removed that we would when we, you know, finally came down to it. Right. Like that that one shrub that was uh, a thousand polys and repeated 300 <laughs> times in the environment, right? Uh, you can almost always cut stuff. Just like you were saying with memory last episode. You're right, though. I am having memory or uh, weapon uh, ammo issues. Uh, I don't think that's working on that dude. I thought it did damage to him while it was sitting there, but I guess not. Is my problem that I'm not using the plasma whip, Tony? Uh, I mean, that would definitely help against the little guys. I think the problem is that you... Uh, look at that. Look at that beautiful frame rate. Uh, I think the problem is that you're getting hit with a lot of projectiles. I see. So if I took less damage... If you were better at this game, uh, you would definitely be doing better All right. in this game. Tony, given that you are actually in the room All with right. me now... Excellent. It's time for you to play. Ha. Huh. What happened to my controller? I can't... There we go. No, wait. How do I... What? Press the start button? I'm hitting the start button. Look. Pressing it. I don't know what's wrong with you. It's triangle. It's triangle. Yeah. You probably want to change your camera. No, camera's fine. You want to jump off the edge so you don't inherit my bad health and then. Oh, I, I'm definitely gonna. I'm gonna see what I can do with your shitty health. Also gives me a chance to uh, get my get reacclimated to the controls. Oh, you know what does need to change though? That needs to change. Ah, uh, yeah, thruster pack. And I mean that's a very contentious piece of, of ratchet uh, lore that is entirely missing it's in the better. tool series. It's better. Uh, you don't even get the option in the new games. Oh really? Yeah, it's just you you, you get the hover pack. That's that's all you get. Which is the right pack. It's not really. I mean, they fixed the hover pack to not... The, the reason the rocket pack is better is because the double jump takes you higher. The rocket, the hover pack du double jump keeps you at the same height. The thruster pack gives you a little bit of extra height on that jump. Yeah. That's what makes it better. 
And then in the new ones, they fix it, so the hover pack gives you that little bit of extra height. So now the thrust pack isn't by default superior in every way. So I would, I, I want to tell you what I liked about the helipack that I don't like about the thrust pack. Okay. So anytime you do a long or a high jump with the rocket pack, it just shoots you straight forward. It doesn't have that arc to it. And when you do the jump into the air with the hover pack, it shoots you straight up. It doesn't have that kind of, uh, uh, you know, sine wave in the, the moving up. And I just like the feel of the the, the hover pack. Of, of it being worse. Better. Yeah. You like the feel of it being terrible. Well, it's exactly the same in terms of uh, the speed that you long jump and all that. You don't get around the level faster. You do. You just can jump higher. No, the rocket pack does does make you go faster. It's a rocket. How does that? How is a rocket not faster than a helicopter blade? Explain that to then me. Then a helicopter? Helicopter blade. Rockets are as fast as helicopters. Rockets are faster. I don't know about that. It's a rocket. Yeah, but people fire rockets and rockets, helicopters all the time. Rockets go to hit. the moon, Mike. When was the last time a helicopter went to the moon? Never. Never happened. Okay, okay. you make a good point. Yeah. And okay. the moon is far away. You have to be pretty fast to get to the moon. Your logic is impeccable, Tony. There's nothing I can say. Also, you've already upgraded that weapon. Uh, I know. I'm trying to uh, win. All right. Win the game. Why would you try to do that? I don't need to upgrade any more weapons to win the game. All right, we'll chalk that one up to my. That was up to your. I was at thirty health the whole time. That was totally you. So, I don't just want to let you play in silence. A because it's boring, but also because having you talk will make it harder on you uh -huh. to actually do. Yeah, this. you can go ahead and try to distract me. So, I just wanted to ask you one very important question. Okay. Why are you such an asshole? I'm not an asshole. <laughs> I'm opinionated. Opinionated asshole. No, Why are you such hardly. an opinionated asshole? That was weird. The screen went black for a second. So much weirdness. I'm not an asshole, Mike. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, did you see that? See that slick move Which that one? I pulled over there? Jumping between the uh, those bullets, taking no hits. Okay, here we go again. Oh, look at that. So sweet. Look at the talent. The talent on display here. Oh, look at that dodging. You couldn't do that. No. You could right. you would be terrible at that. Oh, look at this. Look at this talent on display. I'm like I'm, a I'm literally speechless. I'm like a ninja. See, all this time I thought that you were just talking out of your ass about how much better you were than me. I'm so good at this game. But in reality, it turns out that you're actually kind of a pro. Man, when we play uh, when we play the online game with people, you're going to tear them up. Oh you? yeah, that's yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be humbling. Oh, what is this coming in from off camera? That is cheesiness. Oh, man, There's so much tension. I can't handle this. This is too much, Tony. Okay, don't miss that jump. Don't miss it. Good you job. Know, you know how I was able to get that jump? Rocket pack. Because the, the double jump glide with yep. the rocket pack is the same as... It's not the same. You get extra height. No, I'm, I'm saying it's the same as a long jump with the help. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Not criticizing your All rocket right. pack anymore. Just saying. It's it sounded okay like, if you like bad things. It sounded like you were criticizing the rocket pack. You have the right to like any stupid bad thing you want. All I'm saying is you can criticize me all you want, but the rocket pack... I can criticize you all I want? You leave me alone. You leave the rocket pack alone. There are some things that are... There's... there's. Oh, so speaking of frame rate problems... Yeah. This area was a huge fucking frame rate problem. Uh, the, uh... These houses here... Yeah. ...are Mobis. Oh, really? Yeah. That's not good. No, it's not good at all. Uh, because they had destruction states. Yeah. So, um... We had a the uh, this is the only time in any of the games I did frame rate where fill rate was a problem. Oh wow! Because if you walked up really close to one of these things and then set off a bunch of shit, you could crash the game with frame rate. Like oh you could, wow! You could make it go so far under frame that it would crash. It was crazy. So what was the fix? Um, the fix was to turn them into ties. So uh, and they lose their destructible states. They 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 bolted all of the mobies onto them as destructive states. I see. So all the mobies became smaller. I was never sure why uh, giant mobies would cause that problem, but uh, uh, Brian Hastings always said it was fill rate. Do you know what that means? 
Uh, kind of. It's like there's, I know there's only so many polygons you can have that fill the screen, right? Right. Well, I mean, if you have a transparent poly, like, right in front of the camera, then that polygon sort of... You need to take the color and whatever of that polygon and apply it to everything that's behind it. Uh. And so there might be something the way with the way they draw movies that it affects anything that's behind them. They probably There's probably a special process on Mobis. Because, you know, Mobis can have windows and stuff. Right. And they need to project their color behind them. Right. Ties weren't allowed to have... Uh, uh, yeah, they weren't... windows that influenced yeah, the yeah, color. Yeah. So there was probably a special process that allowed them to sort of affect anything that was drawn behind them, and that could probably cause fill rate problems, I suppose. But I, I remember that I found that problem and was talking to someone about it, and they were just like, oh man, what are we going to do? We can't just lose these buildings. This is going to be so bad. And then it, it caused someone a huge amount of, of headache to, to fix that. But it was a crash bug. It's not like they could ignore it. Right, right, right. And just let that one area be out of frame. Oh, these corridors are where I always used to level up my shield generator. Because there's little cover pieces you can hide behind and just leave the shield out to get hit by... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, fire. I gotcha. Oh, like right here. Yeah. Oh, there's my box again, the one I spent a couple weeks on. So if I did this, and then I went down here... Yeah, and they just shoot the they just shoot those things and you get experience every time I see the bars coming up. Very slowly. Shoot them. Well, you you want to see there. Most of them are hitting the floor. You want to put them out where they get hit. Yeah. So anyway, that's where I'd do it. I'm not suggesting we do this on camera. Yeah, I'm not. I'm that not was gonna, the that I'm was the best do. way I found to level up the shield charger or the, the shield uh, hover shield, hollow shield. That was the best way I found to level up the hollow shield. <laughs> I'll just cut that in afterwards. No one will ever know. More guys. Come on, guys. Well, you're already doing better than I did. You hit the checkpoint. I know. I'm doing so that's good. really good. I mean, I'm going to say that you were helped by watching me play through several times. No. What to expect. You can say that, but we all know that's not true. Uh, well, if we see you fail a lot in this section, we'll know that it's true. Well, you're not going to see that. I mean, you are doing very well. Really Your health well. is almost at maximum. Pretty good. And there's probably a health crate coming up that you'll be able to get that will... Even make it better. What was I gonna use here? Let's just, oh, I don't even need to do that. Power drone bolt score over there. And I'm on a weird angle. That's you know I don't think people know that, but I'm just gonna let them know. I'm, I'm he's sitting, sitting at a, right in front of the screen. I'm sitting at a very he's, weird angle. He's fine. There's nothing wrong with the way he's sitting. Don't listen to him for a, a second. Really weird angle. I gotta say, it's a it's definite detriment. But someone as great as you should be able to overcome Well, I am overcoming it. So, yeah. So, uh, uh, in terms of, uh, like, we, we were talking about low-level engine features like uh, uh, the, the fill rate and, you know, how transparency actually works. Can you think of anything that we, like, any effects that we did in this game that were done in an unusual way that we could talk about? Uh... Not off the top of my head. I mean, we talked about the shadow volume stuff and the way that those all work. Right. Hold on, I need a, I need something really good here. I don't know what that is. You know what? We're just gonna go with the old standby. Um, I mean, there like the, uh, I think this is from Ratchet Two, but the, uh, I know the mini nuke effect was a lot, a lot of work to get the mini nuke getting done getting working properly if i remember correctly uh oh, eric like, had to code it in assembly in playstation assembly right? probably yeah i mean it was a really expensive effect and he really wanted it to look really really nice and it does it does look really really nice yeah. and that was ratchet 2 right i think so yeah man there's a lot of these guys So was was uh, was this the game where we started getting involved with the Insomniac community? Like, did it just start coming online during this time? Uh, I think the forums started up around this time. Because uh, uh, I don't know if a lot of you out there know, but Tony and I ran the uh, well, not helped ran. Run the, yeah. Sorry, helped run the Insomniac forums. What I meant was we were mods, right? We were yeah. administrators. Uh, 
So we did a lot of stuff with the community. That's where Dodger and Mr. Sunshine come from in the first place. Well, Mr. Sunshine came from Moo. Moo started calling you Mr. Sunshine? Moo is the one that called me Mr. Sunshine. I didn't know and that. I just Why? take a run with it. Did, just because... Because I'm so... It's such a sunny dis- Because of my sunny disposition, Mike. Oh. I think we were, it was another day where things weren't going well, and uh, I said something... Or somebody said something about how I always have such a positive attitude. And Moo was like, yeah, you're a regular Mr. Sunshine. And I took it and ran with it. As well you should, sir. My, my dodger came from Oliver Twist. Ah, gotcha. A lot the of artful people, dodger. A lot of think, people think it's because I'm a dodger fan, but that's actually not the case. It's the artful dodger, you know. Bit of trivia out there for the five of you who are my Mike's out trivia. Yeah. If you had a Wikipedia, it could go right on there. I do have a Wikipedia. Oh, well, then there you go. This is something you can add to Mike's Wikipedia. I can't add anything. Well, so you guys have to add it right, for me. Right, yeah. Uh, like, for example, my Wicked page doesn't even know that I worked on Skylanders. Really? Yeah. It's way far behind. Who created your Wikipedia page? And how has it not been deleted? Uh, That's my question. <laughs> it's irrelevant? Is that what you're... <laughs> I, I honestly don't know why it hasn't been deleted. That uh, it, can, it puzzles me every day. I wake up in the morning and I say to myself, well, why do I still have a Wikipedia I just page? think it's funny because... Uh, I just finished, by the way. Uh, well, well played. But uh, I know that there's a huge... On the like the online UFC community has a huge problem with Wikipedia because Wikipedia thinks individual UFC events aren't noteworthy enough to to have their own Wikipedia page. This is a billion dollar industry, and apparently their pay per view events are not notable enough to have their own pages. Really? But Mike Dodger Stout, notable enough, woo, more notable than any one UFC event. That's right, absolutely. So either go on there and. And, and help me make it better, or, or market for deletion. Market for deletion, apparently, because uh, Tony thinks I doesn't don't deserve one. I didn't you know, say Tony. That. Tony doesn't have a Wikipedia. I page. don't have a Wikipedia page, and he really should. And I really don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it's noteworthy. You don't enough. think you're noteworthy enough? No, for Tony, I do. <laughs> okay, well that's you were nice. able to beat this level. When I, I did. Didn't do it. Just one shot, boom, one shot through the all the way. Thing. That's crazy. No problems. And all that it took was nothing. Like you just blew through. And now we have the coordinates for the final level. And the Dr. Nefarious fight after it. After the final level. Mm -hmm. But here's one little bit of teaser that we actually will follow through on, I think, in our next in our next episode, is that all the uh that this one fight that you've been alluding to for so long. The one fight that we ever had uh Apparently bitter, bitter fight. The one that you claim existed. You claim happened because of something that's coming up in this very that next I got written up for. You got written up for I it. Got I made you it. get written up. You made me get written that's up. That's no, pretty no. Good. You didn't make me get written up. I got written up because I was being an asshole to you. Oh, okay, that's so. good. Well, I didn't complain about it. Yeah. So no, no. no. Brian witnessed me being an asshole. Oh, okay. Is what happened. I'll tell. I'll with that teaser. I'll tell the whole thing next time. Excellent. Uh, but Tony, I think there's something you wanted to talk about, isn't there? Uh, yeah, there's a quick announcement. Uh, we didn't touch on this too much in the last episode, but I'll talk about it here now that we have a little bit of uh, extra time. The gist of it is that I am no longer working for the man, no longer part of the corporate machine. Uh, no longer just clocking in and clocking out. No, no wage slave. No wait, no, not me, not this guy. Uh, I'm now working outside the system. I'm gonna be trying my hand at creating an indie game. A smaller game, just sort of on my own. And uh, I'm hoping, uh, by the time this goes out, to be well underway in terms of, you know, making this game happen. And so, a lot of people ask us sort of, what's next for us after we're done with Ratchet and Clank? Yeah. Uh, And my hope is, for what's next for us, is that uh, there'll be some videos coming up very soon uh, that's just going to be me talking about uh, what it's like to make a game from the very beginning, uh, starting with absolutely nothing and everything that comes up in making that game. So yeah, I mean, my hope is uh, very soon to let you all in on uh, what the game is that I'm working on. Uh, I think it's something that you guys will all like, and I think it'll be fun to do. Uh, And uh, At the very least, you'll have an entertaining story about an attempt. Yes, absolutely. Right? Worst case scenario, you'll have a good story about a failure. Well, worst Best case, case scenario. Worst case scenario, Mike, is I will put my idea out on the internet 
and it will be immediately stolen, oh, as all good game ideas are. That's true. So I need to find a good copyright lawyer and copyright my idea before I talk about it with anybody. I've heard that. I've heard that that's true, and uh, and yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Make sure you copyright it. Also, don't ever talk about it. No, never. Someone might just, you know. Right. Never. Do it better. If I try to get people to help me, I will do it in the vaguest terms possible. And very, uh, uh, you know, make sure that they sign non-disclosure agreements. Yes. Well, the videos aren't going to be public. You will send me an email saying that you wish to watch the videos, and then I will send you <laughs> an NDA, and after I receive your NDA, you will get a link to the video. It will have to be notarized. Absolutely. Uh, two forms of government identification. Yes. Excellent. Okay, that sounds good. So, I, uh, I hope it'll be fun. Uh, hopefully, they'll be coming out soon. And uh, hopefully, you like it, and hopefully, you'll, uh, you'll watch. All right. So, we'll see you next time for this, this particular podcast that we're doing, which is called Developer Commentary. And Tony will see you next time for his podcast, which is To Be Named. Yes. He has of yet untitled. And so, for Developer Commentary, I am Mike Stout. And I am Tony Garcia. And we will catch you next time. Could have gone worse. Could have gone worse.